fathers that sent me. So the Father and the Son, they speak the same word. Jesus Christ said, look in Moses, look in the Old Testament, and you'll see all that is written concerning me. He said to the Jews of his day, you search the scriptures, because in them you think you have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. And you will not come to me that you might have life. Come to the Savior today. Come to Jesus Christ. He says, come unto me, all ye that labor and the heavy laden, under a burden of sin, and I will give you rest. He promises the Sabbath of God. What is God's Sabbath? It's in Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the Sabbath rest of God. What did God rest in on the seventh day? Was God tired? Of course not. He worketh hitherto, Jesus says, and I work. So God the Father rested in the finished work of his beloved Son. That's what God rested in, Jesus Christ. He is the rest of God. That's why Jesus says, come to me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, I'll give you rest. I'll give you the Sabbath that you're looking for. You're all looking for rest. You all want peace. The Bible tells us there is no peace, says my God to the wicked. The wicked are like the troubled sea that has no rest. There's no peace to the wicked. But in Jesus Christ, we have peace. And it's a peace that passes all understanding. You will never, never be able to measure the peace of God. Jesus Christ said, my peace I leave with you. Peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. And the peace that he's talking about is the peace that he knew with the Father. Jesus Christ said, my peace. It's his peace. It's the peace of God. There is nothing like the peace of God. It's not peace with the European Union or some other union of countries or some campaign for nuclear disarmament peace. No, it's the peace of God that Jesus Christ brought to us through the blood of his cross. That's the peace. That's the peace. It's no good saying peace be upon this one and peace be upon that one when they're dead. They're dead. There's no peace for the wicked. They're in hell. They're burning forever and ever. But Jesus Christ is the Prince of Peace. And of the increase of his government and peace, there'll be no end. It's an everlasting peace. It's an everlasting government. If you're under Theresa May's government, it's not an everlasting government. You're to be under the government of our Lord Jesus Christ. To be under the government of Jesus Christ is perfect peace. Perfect peace. And that's what we have today. We have the peace of God in our hearts. How do we have it? Because Jesus Christ is the peace offering. Because Jesus Christ has made peace by the blood of his cross. Because Jesus Christ came into the world as the peacemaker. And that's why Jesus Christ said, Blessed are the peacemakers. Well, who are the peacemakers? Russia and America? No. The peacemakers are those who bring people to Jesus Christ through the blood of his cross. Those are the peacemakers. And the only peace that he will know, which will never pass away, is the peace that the Lord Jesus Christ gives.